Hey everyone, it's Jeff Farina with Jeff.TV and the Simulcast, and today I'm going to make a quick video just giving you an overview of the new official OEM Nexus 7 travel cover um, for the Nexus 7. Now, this travel cover is made by ASUS, as you can see here. Uh, it retails in the Google Play Store for $24.99, $25, uh, and it's another $13 or so to, sh to ship it, unfortunately. So it's kind of, you started getting up there. Um, of the cost of the case very quickly considering what it is now I've had it for 24 hours now officially I used it all day today during work uh, it's definitely nicer so what I was using before was just this neoprene sleeve for generic 7 inch tablets I actually had to cut it because uh, it was very tight trying to pull it over the top of the Nexus and I didn't want to um, just potentially push that screen down I have unfortunately some issues not with the case well I do some issues with the case but with the tablet itself uh, with, with the build quality, my buttons, I've talked about them, they're actually very flush with the case, so they're hard to press, and this case makes it much harder to press. And my screen, people complain about the screen itself, um, actually when you push on the corners, you can see the glass raising up and down. I do unfortunately suffer from that, so that's an issue that I have. Now one thing, I'm going to show you real quick, I closed that cover, and as you can see there, it changed the screen. So you can actually, I think it's, you can actually control through this here. Uh, we're on this, let's see, we're on this is my farthest to the right so let's try swiping over to the left see if we can actually get over didn't work that time now it seems like it's working sometimes let's push down a little harder here and see what happens nope so it actually did not swipe luckily but as you saw you'll occasionally open the screen and even right there it somehow registers heat and will actually swipe over it just gets a little janky right there as you probably saw now i'm not touching the screen so i don't know what exactly just brought this up um I did not touch anywhere near there but Hey, it is what it is. So, so far I've used the case for 24 hours. Again, it was 25 bucks. This is the box that it comes in right here. Uh, travel case for the Nexus 7, travel cover. Flexible, non-slip matte texture provides great grip and protection against bumps and scrapes. And that's basically all it's going to do. It's not a smart cover. It's not, it's not magnetic. They are, they are coming out with variants of that. This one, though, is just rubber. It just opens right up, as you can see here. Just opens right up. Actually has a little bit of a softer cushion area right here for the screen, but I mean it's very, very basic. You have your microphone port here. Now the quality, the build quality isn't necessarily the greatest, and there's a couple lips that I have from the mold, but you do have your power, your volume up and down, and your headphone jack and your power jack. Now notice the headphone jack is not centered. Not even really flush either. Uh, same thing with the power jack. The power jack is close, but headphone jack is not centered. So if your headphones are larger on the end, it may not fit there. It does fit the speaker grill portion perfectly. And it is very similar to the same texture that the back of the Nexus is actually made from. Uh, but it feels less like leather, more like rubber. So as you can see here, it just pops right into place. It just pops right down. And so pretty simple to use. Uh, I have to say it's definitely not the greatest case I have ever used. Uh, you know, you look at the smart cover from Apple for the iPad 3. Um, this is dead right now because I haven't used it since I've received my Nexus 7, but uh, this is magnetic. It clips to the front, only protects the front, but it has magnets which will actually wake the screen up when you're done with it. Now, they are coming out with a version of that for the Nexus 7. It's going to be leather and have those magnets as well as spin. So it's a much more feature-rich case than this, this basic guy here. But uh, I'll be honest, I am less than impressed, but I wasn't really looking for anything ground groundbreaking. I mean, I'm using this for work. In a construction environment so I just don't want my tablet to get scratched if I drop it to get dinged like my Nexus 7. Um, I decided to go naked on the Nexus 7. I'm sorry on my Galaxy Nexus and as you can see I have a couple of dings and I never drop phones but I'm noticing with work now sometimes I'm just running around so quickly uh, that I do drop phones. It does happen. I do drop my clipboard, my notebook, whatever it may be. So now I know that this guy's going to be safe but once again very basic just flips right open closes right up pretty simple uh, it's not broken in as you can see you have to add some flex so I'm thinking by holding this and reading it'll eventually break that in and I won't have to physically hold it down at all times but it's kind of hard to believe this case was going for a hundred dollars on eBay because it was pretty much impossible to get up until last week um, but they are now available to buy so if you're looking for a cheap case I recommend it to an extent you know don't don't expect anything earth-shattering uh, but if you're looking for a professional-looking case, it's going to give you that magnetic feature. 
and just seemed like more of a, of a case, then I'd wait for that leather version to see what happens there or any other third party that makes an accessory for it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos on Jeff.TV and of course the Simulcast podcast every Wednesday night on the simulcast.com slash live. Thanks for watching everyone.